Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. So I just got back from Steve Liss event. He had an amazing event. I'm gonna tell you all about it in the next video coming up. I just finished offloading my car. <laughs> there is a, a bag of soil here and I already moved some of the stuff that I got. I am about to share that with you guys. And someone I met there had a loofah and they gave it to me. So I thought that was pretty awesome. His events are amazing because every time I go there, I meet someone new who is full of knowledge and experience and information to share with me and things to show me. And I try to capture those videos and those moments for you guys because uh, I don't know many people that are as crazy as me when it comes to the garden and growing things except you guys on YouTube. So I try to share my exciting moments with you guys and try to... Um, share so you guys can also come along and learn something from these wonderful people that i get to meet when steve liz has events tons and tons of information please watch the upcoming videos i i mean just it's coming up i'm excited uh charles was there steve liz was there um i met this guy named tony who's part of the uh rare fruit growers i also met um who did i meet um oh i forget names um dun, 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 i forgot the name I'll, it'll come up to me but it's just amazing um i got um another tree as you guys know i love things to look pretty and i love for some reason i like having two of things so if i have kumquats i have two if i have my kefir no not my kefir my what is it called? Everything's escaping me right now. I'm just so excited from coming from this event and I have so much to share with you guys that I just can't think of certain things right now. So um, my Mexican key lime, you guys know that I have two of them. I try to grow two of things that produce less and grow slower and are um, kind of pretty to look at and add a, a nice, um, uh, something nice to my landscape. And as you guys know, last year um steve liz blessed me with this weeping mulberry it's pretty well it's not much to look at right now but when it starts blooming it's just in a beautiful a beautiful tree and it has mulberries and i absolutely love it and you guys know that my plan is to leave it here so it can add some pretty texture color and fruit to my landscape and at the event that i just came from they did have raffles and i won a tree and guess what i won another i chose you get to choose what tree you want so i decided to go with another weeping mulberry because it's beautiful it produces fruit and it doesn't use up that much space like you can count on this tree getting fuller but not taller and not not super wide just fuller with leaves okay so for that reason i chose this tree um and amazing steve liz gave me some things that i've been looking for um i have big plans for this area however i don't have the muscle <laughs> to do it uh, or the time at the time at this time so therefore i'm going to use these containers for the time being until the right time and i have the right um, tools and time to do so and uh, he gave me these big wooden containers which fit perfectly in the area that I want them to go as you can see and I am going to put them there I might stain them the same color as this or I might stain them black I'm not sure looking for feedback down in the comments down below um, but how pretty is this going to look with these weeping mulberries on each side of this uh, privacy fence I'm super super excited because I think when you come into this side of my house I'm gonna walk from the gate so you guys can see um, okay I did these I did these planters last year this planter didn't make it well at least the vine that I put to grow there which is fine I'll get another one and put one there so when you come in you're gonna see these beautiful vines with flowers obviously my avocado some banana string of bananas my beautiful laura bay and two 
beautiful weeping mulberries one on each side of this fence and i just think that's gonna look amazing another thing that i want to do is i want remember that pomegranate tree that i have on the other side of the house that i wasn't sure if i was going to put in the ground or put my blood orange well i decided after really thinking about it and getting everybody's feedback and everybody agreed that the the um what do you call it the blood orange would look better in the ground and it's actually a nice fruit girl so i'm going to put that on the other side and i think my aspelair pomegranate is going to go there and cover this wall and i think this is going to be the side of the house that's going to have my trees that go dormant this is not um this side this side of the house is not used as much as the other side so during the winter it's okay to have trees that go dormant and it's just going to be like a little hidden edible garden that um you know that when we want to snack on something we can definitely come back here and grab a snack um during the summer it gets really hot so this side of the house does get a little bit of shade and there's a beautiful um there's a beautiful bench there that we can come and sit and have a snack enjoy my garden and at some point i will also want to build a trellis going up this section of the wall and a trellis going up on this section of the wall kind of like i have on the other side of my garden and um maybe grow some um kiwis some other vine that's growing edibles and stays evergreen not sure i'm gonna have to do some research but i was thinking about kiwis let me know what you guys think about that i love getting your feedback just because some of you guys bring up great points that i hadn't even thought about um like celeste comment on my other video she said hey how about doing some research on the roots how strong are those roots um you know because you don't want to have a very aggressive tree growing in a place that's near to your near your house and then basically damaging your foundation or piping which are i hadn't even thought about that so i did do some research blood orange they don't have i mean every tree can potentially be aggressive but blood orange are not super aggressive so i think we would be fine before i moved in there was a tree near that area so i think it would be fine but like i mentioned you guys bring up so much good points um bring up things that i hadn't thought about you guys teach me things and uh it allows me to do my own research and then um make my own decision based on what you guys tell me and based on what my research is and considering my microclimate and what i have going on here in california zone 9b so so much information i can continue talking forever but for this video all i wanted to do is share what's going on on this side of the garden the ideas i'm going to be repotting these i can't wait to see what the roots look inside of um these these mulberry containers weeping mulberry containers and um show you guys how i'm going to amend the soil how i'm gonna pot it i've never potted a tree in one of these um there's as you can see grid so there's no need for me to cut holes what i will be doing is probably putting a mesh mesh or some coffee bean uh, filters so the soil doesn't just kind of drain out of the the grids there because i want to keep it in the container so yes that's what's going on guys i really really encourage you guys to watch the upcoming videos from the event there's a lot of um and a lot of people who really know their stuff they've been gardening for years they have so much experience to draw back to draw from and share with us and um i just can't stop talking about how excited i am to share the videos i recorded today and um they're going to be kind of long because there is going to be a lot of information in those videos so um i hope you guys get through them and find it as informative as i did all right guys as you guys know i can talk forever so i'm gonna let you guys know i hope you guys have a blessed day i'll see you guys in the next one we are having wonderful weather here in california and i am eager to go for a run to go do some outdoor activities even get in the garden 
I had a busy day today. It's already almost two and I've been gone all morning. So there's a lot to do and I just can't wait to continue doing things. <laughs> all right, guys, you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.